sacrifice. Based on Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 through 5, chapter 21, verses 1 through 3, and chapter 22, verses 1 through 19. Many years pass. People forget about the God who created them. They move down the Euphrates River and build the great trading city of Ur. Ur is a land of plenty, with plenty of different gods. But the one true God speaks to a young man named Abram. Abram, why are you out here in the middle of the night? Sarai, God has spoken to me. He said to leave my father's family, my country, and the false gods of Ur behind me. He said to travel to a land that he will show me. There he will make our family a great nation and all the people on the earth will be blessed through me. It will be scary to leave everything we know and our family, but we will trust the Lord to keep his promises. God gives each of them a new name, Abraham and Sarah, and they move to a new place. Abraham leads his clan to the Negev region near the desert. Angels visit Abraham and tell him Sarah will have a son. One year later, their prediction comes true. Who would have thought that I would ever have a son? I'm too old, but I'm holding my baby in my arms. I'll never doubt God's promises again. Many years later... Saddle the horses. Isaac and I must go on a journey. But this is a journey like no other. No one knows that, as a test of faith, God has told Abraham to sacrifice his son. Over a lifetime of faithfulness, Abraham has learned to obey God, but he does not understand this perplexing command. How could God ask such a thing? I know it's absurd, but I must believe that even if I sacrifice Isaac, God will give him back to me somehow, even if it means raising him from the dead. Leaving the servants behind, they trek up to the mountaintop. But Isaac's curiosity grows. Something is wrong. This isn't how we usually do it. Alone on the mountaintop, Abraham and Isaac build an altar. Here's the wood, Father, but where is the animal to sacrifice? God will supply the sacrifice, my son. Suddenly, Abraham turns and binds his son. Father! If God wants me to give him my only son, I will obey. Suddenly, Abraham hears the voice of God. Don't lay a hand on your son. I would never truly let you do such a thing. But you have proven that you are fully devoted to me. You didn't hold back even your son. As Abraham breathes a huge sigh of relief, he spots a ram caught in the nearby bush. A ram for the sacrifice. Thank you, God. Quickly, Abraham releases Isaac and puts the ram in his place on the altar. Father, you gave me to God and he gave me back to you. Yes, my son, it was a test of faith. Isaac, never doubt the wisdom and love of God. With joyous hearts, Abraham and Isaac give thanks to God. I swear in the name of myself that because you obeyed me, I will bless the whole world through your children. On the way home, Isaac walks ahead and alone. 
Through his mind flash scenes of the day. He can still feel the ropes that tied him on the altar. See his father's knife. Feel the joy of knowing that he would not be killed. Sarah rushes out of the camp to greet them. Isaac, what happened? You left here a boy, but you have returned a man. Like your father, strong and wise. From my father, I learned the cost of faith. And from God, I learned the reward of faith. 